And we'll go back to the ID machine. You're watching a Star Guy, Star Guy, Star Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Super Kaboom, oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Episode of the AD Machine with the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, and now, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, and that is why a lot of people in the Philippines get scammed. All right, they have a lot of very uh, tempting get-rich-quick schemes. Let's say if you invest X amount of money and recruit X amount of people, you are going to earn X amount of money, and you are going to become a multi-billionaire just like them and their Lamborghini. We're talking about network marketing, and yes, this is one of the biggest scams that came in to the Philippines. But I have a story of another scam. It's a more elaborate scam. It's a scam that the people don't actually expect, but a scam that actually happened. So, we will now go back in time and listen to the time when scams were very, very prevalent. All right, so once upon a time, there was this grandmother, and uh, the grandmother went, um, the uh, grandmother, okay, went around telling people how rich and how powerful she was. And the grandmother's, basically the son of this grandmother became a, uh, Exactly like her. He told everyone that um, he was a billionaire. He told everyone that he was going to earn a lot of money in a province someday. And he spread it not just to other people, but to his friends and to his in-laws, especially his in-laws. And his in-laws were intrigued. Hmm, this person is going to be earning lots of money. So we have to make sure that um, when this person gets his money, that we are able to monitor it, we are able to see it, so that we can partake in that fortune as well. So what happened? These people were gullible enough to attempt to spy on the person. Not only did they spy on the son, but they spied on the grandson as well. What they did is they spent good money, they bribed a lot of people, and they ask these people, hey, let us know what they're doing, let us know what they're saying, everything, you're gonna have to tell us, okay, we're gonna give you money, we're doing that. So they wasted their money, they tried to spy on them for years and years and years, thinking that one day they were going to reap the benefits that when the son or the grandson would actually finally get their share or get their placements then they could actually know and they'll be able to find out and be able to uh, take a part of that share get a piece of a pie but what was happening is that they and the in-laws were actually getting scammed and here's why because there was no placement there was no money the grandmother didn't have that much money in fact, when the father got sick, right, instead of staying at the cave, the grandmother wasn't able to basically take care of it. And this father stole from his kids, so they had nothing, basically. They basically had nothing, no way to actually 
they they had no way to actually um, help him or uh, couldn't even afford to send him to a hospital. So they were forced to have him stay at an hospital at home. Now, when uh, father passed away, soon grandmother also passed away, and lo and behold, the true fortune was revealed. It wasn't as much as we said, and the in-laws who spent all that money just trying to spy on the father and the grandson, they realized that they were scammed. They realized that this uh, fortune was just imaginary. It wasn't actually real. And all the while, they were paying these people to spy on them, paying these people to update them, and these people were just passing money to their grandmother. So, can you relate to these people? Were you scammed as well? Well, we certainly hope not, but if you were scammed, then it's your fault. You were gullible. And the reason why people get scammed is certainly because people will listen to what they like to hear. People will go for the easy money. Whatever is easy, it's like, hey, just do this, just do that, and you're gonna get tons of money. It's as simple as that. It's why people get scammed. It's why network marketing scams people. It's why those get rich quick schemes, they scam people. It's why those YouTube boosting services, they scam people. I mean, everyone gets scammed simply because people are one, people aren't careful, and two, people listen to what they want to hear. So how to prevent getting scammed is just use your common sense. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. Once again, this is the Idea Machine with the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. We are signing off right, right now.